What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. I want to talk about Ashanti, man. Apparently, she's going viral because this picture she posted on her Instagram. Uh, and people are saying, oh, that's her new boyfriend, right? And it, it's going viral on Twitter, man. It is going completely viral. I actually reposted this and I said something, but I said, you know what? I'd rather do it in video form because um, I can get more of my thoughts out that way. Now, I know people are going to say, well, Jay, you've been on the interracial tick over the last couple of days. It may seem like that, but I I'm, want to get back to talking about topics that interest me. And some of the topics I spoke about recently have interested me a lot, you know, and I just find it interesting how you have melanated women getting on Twitter saying, you know, melanated men are upset that she's dating out that she's with this Caucasian guy when literally no black men are saying that no black men are getting on Twitter on social media angry about this because again, she put this on social media and I went to her Instagram and it was accompanied by other photos. Apparently she's in Mexico and I saw one commenter say that she's at a particular business. Like if you go to her Instagram, this is the Instagram. And this is the post here. Let me go here. This is the post here, right? Let's see if we can widen it out for the comments. And she got a bunch of comments. As you can see, some other photos here. Her and I guess friends, right? At this restaurant. A lot of people there. That's the guy there, right? And I believe he manages the place. Now, this is in Cancun. And I, you know, I want people to understand something about women. Because Ashanti has yet to dispel these rumors. When when rumors came out about her and Flo Rida, she quickly came out and said, No, that's not true. That's BS, there's lies, right? But as of me doing this particular uh, video, she has not dispelled anything. She's left it up to interpretation. But apparently, you know, she wants to take a photo with this guy. Now, I will say this, though, about the melanated women that I see on social media. Uh, they will not post themselves with melanated men. Like, you will not see a lot of these females like Ashanti, these blue check mark women, whether it be in the music industry or music, music, movie industry, they may post pictures with people that, you know, black males that they've worked with, right? But you will rarely see them posing with any black male that isn't a celebrity. Somebody that's in their grouping, right? But she's putting up this picture with the guy who I believe manages that place. Now, she has other photos up as well. Let me get them up on the big screen. Now, this is her uh, while she's in Mexico. I don't know if this is the group that she's with because you see Flo Rida there, right? But if you look at here, it says Cancun, Mexico. So I don't know if all of them are vacation together or this is an old picture. I believe that's Flo Rida. That looks like Flo Rida. Is that Flo Rida? It looks like him. And it's just when you see right when you see ashanti putting up on her instagram herself you know with this guy like this it leaves things up to interpretation people are going to assume things that is why this post is going viral and others as well and they're talking about black men being upset black men are putting up umar johnson memes this is what you see on twitter from melanated men they are putting up memes. They are making fun of this. They are not angry. But you do see a lot of melanated women getting on Twitter saying, y'all are mad because she's dating a Caucasian guy? First off, she's in Mexico. And I don't think they're dating. I just think that she took a picture with them because they love taking. I will say this, though. I will say this, though about a lot of these melanated women in the entertainment industry. They love taking photos with Caucasian men to put them on their posts, but put them to put them on their page. It is what it is. 
I will say that any opportunity to put a Caucasian guy on their, their page, they'll do that. Doesn't mean they're dating them. Doesn't mean they're sleeping with them. But they will do that. I have noticed that. Right? Just random. Just real random. And the one thing I will say about women, women are very good at subliminal messaging. Women are very good at subliminal messaging. You got women who will put men on their pages who they're actively sleeping with, but they will tell the whole world that they are single. They will tell the whole world that they are married in a relationship, but they will sneak a picture or two in there with their side dude. That's how much women love to subliminally message. They will put up posts subliminally speaking through their posts to certain guys. That's how they are. And that could be her way of subliminal messaging, right? Because even in the video I showed, when she was panning the camera around, she kept panning it back to that guy. I believe that guy must run that establishment that she's at because I, I saw a comment that mentioned that. And maybe she was invited there. Now, I want to see if she's going to be quick to dispel these rumors like she was quick to dispel those Flo Rider rumors. She was very quick to put those rumors you know uh away he said no i don't know florida is her brother she put him in the brother zone that's where she put florida she put florida in that brother zone she's like no ain't nothing going on up here as you can see they're all together now, i don't know who in the group she's with because you know some of those women are probably with their boyfriends or husbands People may want to know who she with. <laughs> and the thing is, Ashanti has been single for so long. It seemed like she ain't had a relationship since Nelly. It seemed like she did date Flo Rida, but uh, it seemed like since Nelly, she hasn't it hasn't really been with anybody high profile. I might be getting them mixed up. I don't know. But Ashanti hasn't been tied to anybody in a long time. So if she gets into a relationship with somebody, I'm happy for her. I'm not miserable. I don't care who she dates. Y'all got to understand, people. These women are going to be with who they want to be with. They just want the perception to never change, right? See, these women don't want... that. And I'm speaking about melanated women. They don't want black men to not want them even though they may not want to be with a black man they don't want to lose that pool of men who will be interested in them it's a very weird psychology because you have these women who want to date out you got these women that want to deal with men of other groups but they are afraid of what black men are going to say but a lot of times they'll just do it anyway because that's what they want to do. That's why you see so many frustrated women on social media, especially on YouTube. You see a lot of frustrated, melanated women angry at us as if we're holding them back when that's not true. They just don't want black men to say, you know what? I'm not interested in her anymore. Right. They don't want to close that door. And they know that for some of these, for some melanated men, if they do go and hop the fence, those guys are just not going to be interested in them anymore. And they are afraid of that. They may not be necessarily afraid of what we think or this, that, and third, but because they're going to do what they want to do anyway. But what they don't want is that they don't want melanated men to stop lusting for them. I saw some comments where women were saying there were men saying they were going to unfollow her because of who she's dating. When you can look at her Instagram and you can clearly see she's on a trip, she's on vacation with a bunch of people, right? She's at this establishment. She's taking a photo with, the, I guess, the guy that runs the place. Maybe she's dating or maybe she's not. I told y'all, women are very good at subliminal messaging. Women are excellent at it. That's why they can cheat on a guy and they can go completely undetected. Because they're very good at their subliminal messaging to get their, you know, they, they have to show it's, it's a bit of narcissism. They have to kind of show you who they're dealing with because they're so because they're they're happy dealing with that person. So that's where you see the subliminal messaging come from. Right. Women are very good at that. Women love doing that. Right. 
but doesn't necessarily mean that they're actually dating these people. I just think you had a lot of these level up divestors, you know, getting their hopes up, running to Twitter to throw it in our faces as if we care. We got a lot going on here. Us as melanated men, we got a lot going on. We don't care who Ashanti with. We just care that she be with somebody because she's been single for a while. Okay. And she hasn't really been dealing with anybody. I believe she dealt with Floyd Mayweather too. They dealt with Floyd Mayweather too. She she dated some high profile guys, right? Some. But she has not been able to land anybody in her life that wants to actually be in a long term relationship with her. Does she want a long term relationship? Do we send some side chick energy? 